Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to protect a range of cells and also a sheet in Google Sheets. So here we go. So I have here a simple um, spreadsheet, right? We're just um, basically list listing some expenses and for certain, for these three months, first um, quarter of the year, right? And let's say you have like a simple a spreadsheet, whatever spreadsheet that you have, and you may, may be the person who developed the spreadsheet and you may have, have you may have some kind of some complicated formulas within that spreadsheet that you don't really want anybody to interfere with um, and this spreadsheet is something that is shared with other members maybe in your work group or something like that and again like I said before you don't want the formulas to be um, to tamper with so with that being said you may want to up, um, uh, protect these formulas that you don't want to be interfered with or to be changed so let's do that so I have some formulas here, simple formulas, right at the bottom of this um, spreadsheet, just to list the total of these expenses. So I'll just simply highlight them. And I'll go up into, uh, I think it's data. Yes, data. And we're going to come down to protected sheets and range. Click on that. So over here you'll see um, I have First thing, first thing we're going to see protected sheets and range, right? Um, you could enter a description here. Um, I don't really have anything to enter at this point, but it's up to you if you want to enter a description, but it's not mandatory that you do so. And here is a range that I already selected. Um, you could have already selected the range from here, but we already did that um, already so far. So I'll click on OK on that. So um, we're going to click on Set Permissions. Now here, we have two options here. The first one is saying show a warning when editing this range, right? So I think um, whoever, the person who may be putting in the data for the spreadsheet, they may see a warning if you select this option. But I want to be have a tighter restriction on that. I don't want anybody to interfere with that formula. So they can't interfere with it, period, right? So I have this other option here. It says restrict who can edit this range. And um, we have the options here down here with a drop down arrow. We have only you. Let's click, click on this. And we have a custom option here. Let's click on that and see what it says. Okay, we have here you can enter the email address of the people who you would like to edit that um, formula. So at that point, at this point, I don't really want anybody at this point. So I'll just leave it at, I'll go back up here and leave it at only you, meaning me. And I'll click on the undone. That's it. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to protect a, um, a sheet, right? So um, let's say we have two sheets in this entire spreadsheet. One sheet is like an input sheet and the other sheet is the output sheet, right? Um, and for the input sheet, you have a whole bunch of formulas, complex formulas, and you don't want anybody to interfere with that, with those formulas. And But they could have the input on the, they could play around with the, um, with information on the output sheet okay so let's um, protect the sheet let's say this is a sheet that we want to protect right so I'll come down here let's say you have a particular sheet name or whatever you're doing so I'll right I'll click on this drop down arrow and we have a selection here option here called protect sheet and the options are very similar to if you just want to protect um, a cell right you have here protect sheets and range um, enter the description again you can enter whatever description that you feel like and you have here now you have sheet one this is the name of the sheet that we are on right now right so if you had a different name here the would show up here and you have a drop down arrow for less if you have more than one sheets right so if you don't want to protect this one and you want to protect that one you'll just change it but we want to protect sheet one right um we have an option here except certain cells now you could um let's say you could protect the entire sheet except for a certain cell right the option is there and so let's go into set permissions that's what we have here and like before you have like only you right restrict your restrict who can we edit this range Right, so we click on the drop down arrow and we also go to customs and you could enter the name of the email addresses of the people that you would like to be able to edit this sheet and click on done. Well, I don't really have anybody to do that, so I'll click on done. 
actually I'll go back to the drop down arrow up here and say only you meaning only I could um, edit this sheet and click on done and that's it all right and you'll see down here you now there's a padlock next to that sheet sheet one so you know that this sheet is protected okay so let's say we want to remove to un unprotect this sheet all right we just click on the drop down arrow again click on that and go back into protect sheets and you click on cancel and then we see the different areas that are already um, protected so we have this sheet here that we already protected so click on that and just click on delete and you have a prompt here are you sure you want to remove this protected range so remove and then you see the padlock has been removed from this sheet all right if you if you have enjoyed this video click, click on the thumbs up button leave a comment for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe button in doing so you get a notification each time i upload a new video okay thanks so much for watching take care bye, -bye.